everyone. This is Nicole Glass and today it is snowing. I am so excited. Seriously, I live in the Washington DC area and we don't get a lot of snow very often, every couple of years maybe, but this is rare. So when I woke up this morning and everything was white, I grabbed my camera, I went outside, and I'm planning to spend every minute of the daylight out here taking photos, making videos, and just enjoying this beautiful magical winter wonderland. And while I'm out here, I just thought I would share a couple of tips with you on how you can keep your camera equipment safe and functioning in cold and snowy weather conditions. So one thing you might have noticed if you've ever shot in the snow or just in really, really cold temperatures in general, something like negative 10 degrees Celsius or you know, the Fahrenheit equivalent, is that your batteries are not going to last very long. This differs based on the battery that you have, but overall, camera batteries don't do so well in really, really cold temperatures. So what should you do? Well, first of all, bring all of your batteries with you so you have as many batteries as possible that you can replace when those batteries die. But also, I have a little hack, and this has saved me so many times when I'm down to my last battery, so let me tell you about it. You see this? These are hand warmers. They only cost me 99 cents, but what I do is I open these, I put them in my pocket, I wait for them to warm up, and I'll keep my batteries in my pocket with the hand warmers. This will warm the batteries and keep them warm as well as my hands. So that's just a little trick to keep your batteries lasting a little bit longer. So if it's really cold and snowy outside and you're going in and out all the time, you're outside for a couple minutes, then you're going back inside, you'll probably know, notice that there's condensation forming on your camera and lens. That's because when you're coming inside into a warm place from a cold place, the moisture from that warm area is going to start forming on the lens and on the camera and that's not good for your equipment and that's also going to make it hard to take photos. So here's a little trick to avoid that condensation from forming when you're switching your environment. While you're still outside in the cold before you go inside all you have to do is take a Ziploc bag and put your camera or your lens or both in a Ziploc bag like so. Now, when I go inside, I let the camera warm up a little bit inside the Ziploc bag. I take it back out and no condensation on the lens. So if it's snowing a lot, you'll notice that your camera could get really, really wet and you don't want to damage your equipment. So what do you do? This is the same issue that you might have if it's raining really hard. If there's a lot of wet snow or sleet, you have to be careful and try to protect your equipment. So one thing I did is I actually bought a rain cover for my camera. And with that rain cover, I can also use it in the snow and pretty much it protects the entire thing. Let me show you what I mean. So this is a camera rain cover that I got on Amazon and it cost me only $14.99. I'll link to this in the description below. But basically for $14.99, I can protect my camera in the snow. just a little thing I use to keep my camera dry. And again, I just want to point out that everything I'm talking about is going to be linked in the description below and all of these little accessories that I use to keep my equipment safe and functioning during the snow is actually super cheap and affordable. So thank you everybody for watching this video. I hope these little tips and tricks keep your camera equipment safe and functioning well during the snow. If it's snowing where you are, enjoy it. If it's not, well, enjoy that too. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you don't miss any new videos. Enjoy the rest of your day. Just take a look at this beautiful winter landscape.